I actually was meant to go into medicine to be a doctor and uh, that was my career path and I was in, I was doing it and then I gave my dad the heart attack <laughs> I want to get married. <laughs> yeah, dad, I want to get married and he was just like, what? We were meant to be together. You will marry me. <laughs> if I'm going to put myself to do something, I'll commit 100% and I'll do it all the way till the very end. I'll execute it. If I have five hours, wow, that's an amazing sleep. Did Otherwise, you I had a really bad burnout. Yeah, so Safina, welcome to the other game. Thank you for having me. Start with um, Married at 18. Married at 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? I can't believe how much hype there is about this book. Mm. Like, seriously, this was one of my lockdown projects. Yeah, yeah. And I just thought in lockdown, there's a lot of things that I'm mm. going to just utilize my time with. Uh, I went back to uni. Um, I did a master's and I wrote a book. So okay. it's just kind of like... So where did the book come about? Let's start with that. The book was just like, you know what? I think because my platform was built off the fact that the main thing was, it's like I was always known as, oh, the mum of five, the okay. one who got married really young. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, my my platform is built on that. It's just me mm. being me, like as authentic as possible. And people always ask the question, when did you get married? Yeah, How yeah. was it? Okay. You know, are you both from the same cast? How did mm. you meet? And all these questions, and I was going to actually do a podcast about it, okay, but then yeah, I yeah. thought, no, because I'm a bookworm, I like mm. to read. So I thought, um, I'm going to write a book, because mm. I, I, I like to write, I like to write my thoughts down, it just helps like the whole reflection process and thought process, and helps me retain information as well, so I thought, yeah, I'm just going to start writing. Okay, okay. And so wait, so talk to me about that, let's go from there. I'm trying to piece it together, because yeah, not yeah. everyone writes a book, Yeah. But how did that start, <laughs> you just writing about your diary, or like whatever you're doing? Kind of, yeah, because obviously I knew that a lot of people wanted to know. Mm. So when I made the decision that, okay, I'm going to write about it, it was a, it, it was like, where do I start? Yeah, so yeah. I, I literally had to... No, let's to go before. So, you know, when you're younger and you say you like reading. Yeah. How did that begin? Let's go uh, there. Reading. Yeah, yeah. I was always reading. Okay. Ever since I was like, uh, ever since I was, I can remember like mm. three, four years old, like I knew how to read before I went to school because my okay. mom taught us all at home. My yeah, mom's a teacher. Yeah, yeah. And um, I was really into my books, like... Everywhere I'd go, I'd take a book with me. Like when it came to studying and stuff, I was mm. proper geek. I still am. I'm yeah, an yeah. undercover geek. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just like I was just really into books. Like I, I just think books are great. Mm. They feed the mind. They like, you know, they help your vocabulary. Mm. They, you know, help your imagination. Mm. You know, it makes you really creative. I think that's where I get my creative side from mm. because I just loved to read. So it's kind of, um, but then obviously with life and, getting married so yeah, young yeah, married yeah. at 18 <laughs> i kind of stopped reading yeah, yeah. and then obviously away from me yeah, yeah you yeah. know you get so busy with the kids and everything and and then like obviously i was reading um and studying when i went to uni mm. and i did my degree but that was very minimal like i completely winged my degree i hardly okay. studied yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i just really missed like holding a book mm. and reading it and that's why I thought, you know what? Especially with social media nowadays, mm. no one reads anymore. Yeah, yeah. Everything is this. Yeah, yeah, like it's just it. like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah scroll, yeah, scroll, yeah. scroll. It's like, no. Why? Why didn't someone just pick up a book? Yeah, like yeah. you know, like I like the fe uh, the feeling of pages. Mm. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do it as a book. Okay, okay, yeah. 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 So then you got back into reading, yeah. and then I take your lockdown can help that because obviously there's more time on your hands. Yeah, yeah, it was nice because like I could just actually like slow down because mm. my life is super busy so i was like it was nice to slow down have that pace um and because obviously with the clinic that i have i have a yeah. private medical clinic um work stopped mm. because it was only the medical side of stuff that we were open for all the aesthetic side of stuff we couldn't do mm -hmm. so i had a lot more time on my hands um and uh Aleem was a key worker so mm. he was always out okay. it was just me and the kids at home and it was nice, it was chilled. So mm. I kind of just utilized that time. I did my master's first, I got that done first. Uh, okay. That was priority. Yeah, yeah. And then as soon as that was done, I was itching. I was like, I need something to do. Yeah, yeah. So then that's when I decided, yeah, I'm mm. going to start writing this book now. Yeah, so yes. I, d I did do like, a, you know, I drafted up like, you know, how, how my idea of writing a book is. Mm. Like, okay, the title comes either at the end or at the beginning because yeah, yeah. then if it's at the end it's kind of like okay you're telling your story and yeah. then one highlight is going to yeah, be the yeah, title you picked out, yeah, yeah but yeah, really yeah. for me it was that was my title and mm. then I'm going to tell my story okay, after yeah, yeah. so I kind of just did like a spider diagram talked mm. about like all the significant events that popped yeah, up yeah. in my head um, and then kind of branched mm. off and did what like a tree it? diagram what was that the most important 
So why be mad at AE was the most important thing instead of let's say writing a book about nursing or even your clinic or you know you got oh you no, do no, loads of different things so <laughs> like you want to pick anything else? I don't, I don't advise anyone to go into nursing. I'm only joking. <laughs> 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 it's hard work. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think it was it was mainly because of that. Like mm. you know, people on socials, re- unless you're very close to me and you know my story, yeah, no yeah. one knows yeah, like yeah. how it all happened. Mm. People have their assumptions mm. and they have their own ideologies of my life yeah, when yeah. they don't know what actually happened. The full story. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I just thought, you know what? Okay. And especially I think as well with nowadays with social media, there's mm. a lot of young people getting married yeah, yeah. for like... I'm not saying it's for an Instagram wedding, but you know everything is very like, oh yeah, you know, okay, if two people want to yeah. get married, it's like, it's oh, it, and the yeah. pictures are going to be so nice, yeah, and we don't think of the backdrop. Yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. very glamorized yeah, for yeah. socials, mm. for showing people. Yeah, yeah. And I just wanted to remind people of like, you know, the good old fashioned way of mm. getting married, you know, yeah, yeah. about bringing it back to what it's about, two yeah, people yeah. having think. that lifelong commitment. Mm and how it all happened yeah, really yeah. I so need to stop moving yeah. back from the mic yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna yeah, go quiet yeah. so then so let's unpack it so why is it important to let's say have that connection or like but and have uh, 18 is a bit too soon as well like, don't you think very, or did you think like very, yeah exactly very, no, no, so no, no, talk to me about it young. yeah it's very young yeah. if I imagine me getting mad at 18 then it, it wouldn't last how old are you now 22 yeah. Yeah, yeah, eighteen. Even twenty two now is young for you, like yeah. You're well, yeah, so kind young. of, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, but you're just w- what I mean is eighteen is kind of like, like you're still discovering who you are. Like, so I didn't ha- even discover who I was then. Well, there you to go. Be fair, then, so yeah. Like, okay, so tell me how you We were just kids. We yeah. were just kids. Um, mm. literally, just you know. I'm not going to get too much into it because I want to save it for the book. I want yeah, you guys yeah, to actually yeah. read the book. I'll give you like a little. Yeah, I'll I'll give you a little teaser on it. So it's just like, you know, it was just God of Allah. That's all I can say. Mm. We were meant to be together. Okay. We were meant to get married. Mm. As much as it was not happening, mm. like it happened. Okay. So it's just weird. Like, I can't even believe sometimes when I look back and I just think, how is it that when we were in college and I was mm. 16 years old, I, when, I, when I look at my in-law's house, I was like, I was parked outside that house. Pick with my mate picking you up yeah, never yeah. did I think in a yeah, million yeah. years that's where I'm heading okay, do you know yeah. what I mean yeah, 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 yeah. so it's yeah it's just an, I, I look back at the wedding pictures and mm. the wedding video and we're just like kids mm. we literally are but I think it was just the fact that I've always been a person that I know what I want mm. so because I always knew that if I'm going to get into a relationship with yeah, someone yeah. marriage is the goal yeah, yeah okay. it's not yeah, just yeah. to like you know faff around and yeah, mess yeah. around um like you know alhamdulillah like my parents have brought us up with the with like good terbiya and it was just a case of like yeah i i just marriage was always on the cards okay, for me yeah, yeah. so that's why i suppose we got married so mm. young otherwise it could have been dragged on yeah, like yeah. a lot of relationships do get dragged mm. on for years but no, not with me. Yeah, I was yeah. not having it. But you said it so many times, but... <laughs> sound like I forced him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, good <to> then. <laughs> <laughs> you will marry me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, you know when we're on about, like, so what I don't get is, or we're not understand yet, yeah. is, you know when you're doing nursing, yeah. and then you're studying to become a nurse, yeah? And then you get married, and then you kind of like, diverse the path, no? So that how did you keep you on track? That all happened after. Okay. Because I was 18, remember? I oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My, I've no, only just finished y- my level you said, three. You, you said there that you had end goals and like you had a strategy. Okay, so the So goal, was nursing a strategy or no? No. Okay, okay. No, okay. I actually was meant to go into medicine to okay. be a doctor. Okay, yeah. And uh, that was my career path mm. and I was in, I was doing it. Yeah, yeah. And then I gave my dad the heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get married. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, none yeah. of my siblings are married remember mm. at this point my older sister and older brother are not married mm. i'm the third child yeah, so yeah. i'm the first out of as older three mm. saying yeah, dad i want to get married yeah, and yeah, he was yeah. just like what yeah, yeah, yeah. really yeah, big headache yeah. and i and I, I was daddy's girl still mm. am to be fair yeah sorry and breen my sister <laughs> she'll probably be like no you're not yeah, yeah. um yeah i was very close to dad because mm. i was like i was a very like I'm not bigging up my own trumpet, but mm. blowing my own trumpet. I was very, like, obedient child. Okay. Like, whatever. I was a daddy's girl, man. Yeah, I was yeah. literally, like, brown-nosing my dad all okay, the time. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever. I knew, like, what pleased him. Mm. And I and it was education. It literally was. Obviously, we're kids. We get naughty sometimes and whatever. Mm. And I was a tomboy. But education was everything. And for my dad, it was like, I was always very close to him. And he pushed education. And then for me to say to him, 
at 18 that mm. I want to get married. Yeah, yeah. It threw him off because for dad, the most important thing for us what was, education? especially his daughters, mm. get your education done. No one's getting married until 25. Okay. He told all the rich there that yeah, he was yeah. like, no one's getting married until 25. 25. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I yeah, went yeah. and put a spanner yeah, yeah. in the works. So where did that confidence come from to tell him? I was scared. Yeah, Oops, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. you're going to have to beat that. <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared. I was so scared. So what made you do it? <sighs> Don't just say love. Like there's, there's love. But no, whoa, whoa, obviously. It, yeah, but yeah. You, the way I ended up telling dad mm. wasn't how I planned to tell dad. Obviously, mm. I d- I'm not going to go too much into it again. I'll just give you a little teaser. Yeah, yeah. It was... Um, it wasn't meant to be the way, like, you know, you'd rather sit down and have yeah, a conversation yeah. with your dad and, you know, but it just kind of happened in um, a bit of a chaotic situation. Okay. So there was a lot of chaos. There was a lot of, like, ups and downs, and then it just came out. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So without going too deep into it, because obviously you go in the book or I you want to save it for the book. I want yeah, everyone yeah. to hold. Don't order the Kindle book. I, had, I okay. never wanted a Kindle option, yeah, yeah. but it is there. Yeah, yeah. Order the actual paperback. paperback. Yeah, 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 paperback. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But okay, so let's talk about it as a scenario. Yeah. So not just your story. Yeah. But let's say okay, if you're, uh, we're well, not even. I love the way you're digging. You're a proper podcast host. <laughs> <aren't you? laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, okay, anyone forget eighteen, but anyone. So you know when you're on about. Uh, you wish that you could sit down with your dad and have yeah. that conversation. Yeah. But then it happened just naturally. Yeah. Isn't it better to happen naturally and it to come out than it to be a conversation? Because I feel like you'll be adaptable, no? Uh, yeah, you know what? In my case, mm. it worked. Mm. It worked. Did it work, actually? Yeah. No. But what do you think across the board? So uh, let's yeah, not go too... Across... Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm, I don't know. Book. I don't know. Mm. It just depends on the family. Yeah, it yeah. depends, like, if you've got a really strict family, mm. you might not be able to, like, sit down and have a conversation yeah, with them. Yeah, 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 because, yeah. you know, it depends. Like, mm. we've always been able to talk to my mom mm. and not so much my dad. I've yeah, been yeah. able to talk to my dad about stuff, but I, I was just a tomboy, so yeah, I was yeah. like another son to him. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, like... Um, yeah, your, your dynamic was different. It's like, different. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think it depends on the family. Like mm. if, and uh, if you don't have that dynamic with your parents, that you yeah. know you you can sit down and have this conversation with them about marriage. Mm. Um, depends on how um, traditional the family are, or old school, or you know, it's just one of those, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, which I I put it out there to all families, like you know, with your kids growing up, mm. definitely have that you know bond with your child yeah. that you can be able to talk to them about anything and they can come to you and talk to you about anything because mm. something as important as marriage mm. like you know uh, i want my kids to be able to talk to me yeah have that confidence it. to actually speak have that to com- exactly yeah, yeah. because whether it's the right or wrong decision that's their decision to mm. make but at least we can help them and guide them yeah, along yeah. the way and that's that was you know where i was at i wanted to sit down with dad and talk to him and you know but when you anticipate things, mm. it doesn't always, it makes you more nervous. Mm. It's like, oh my God, I've got to sit down with Dad. Yeah, oh yeah. my God, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. That happens. Yeah, yeah. So, so, but if it just happens at yeah, the spur yeah. of the blue, yeah, yeah. you just kind of go mm. with it and just see what happens, see yeah, where yeah. it goes. But you know when, uh, so you know the book? Yeah. Yeah. Ain't that the same thing? Do you, uh, do you see where I'm going? So you know when you're, uh, so you just said, uh, just go with it instead of overthinking it. Yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever yeah. this happens, this yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Then with the book, you kind of just thought, um, I got this story. Yeah. People be asking me. I just went with it, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the book, it, you know me, I'm mm. very spontaneous. Mm. I am very spontaneous. With me, um, yeah. I, I do do I do calculated risk, mm. but if I know something will do well, yeah, yeah. I'll just go with it. Yeah, yeah. Even if but it's see, got a bit see, of risk. We're doing we're, yeah, we're yeah, 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 the spontane- yeah, 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 the spontaneous. See, that's where I'm coming from, because I feel like it's better to be spontaneous mm. than to not just overthink, 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 and then next thing you know... If it's you two, overthink, three, four, you overstress, years, and time go. gets wasted. Mm. Yeah, true, yeah, yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. If you're at that decision, because I knew I mm. wanted to marry Aleem, yeah, yeah. and I think you... <laughs> <laughs> you knew you wanted to marry me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we still argue it. about that now. <laughs> did you really want to marry me or did yeah, I force yeah. you into it? But um, yeah, because I knew, uh, mm. like, you know, obviously, I, before getting myself into a relationship, which was only a short relationship before we actually got married, mm. like, the goal was marriage. And I made that very clear from the yeah, very yeah. beginning. And he was like, yeah, mm. <laughs> I'm not sure. But yeah, I was yeah. like, yes, 100%. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's just... When I when I get a gut feeling about something, I just go with it. Mm. So it's one of those. Is that the same thing when you obviously so you you, you started medicine and yeah. you got married? 
Yeah. And then you went so I didn't actually met. start. I deferred. You deferred. Okay, I deferred. Okay, okay, okay. I had to because yeah, I literally yeah. like oh, I was just before, eighteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, keep I was meant to go that. in. Yeah, 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 I was meant to go in. So I deferred because yeah. I was meant to go to London mm. to study, and uh, that. Was mm. So what made you go back? That's what I'm trying to get at. Oh, uh, education was always going to happen. Mm. There was no way my dad was going to leave me <laughs> and educate. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. it's in me as well. Mm. Like you know, my dad's not educated. He came fresh from Pakistan. Mm. My mom's from the UK, mm. so they're cousins, they got married. And for my dad, um, he's always supported my mom mm. in her studies. Like, my mom's, mashallah, got multiple degrees. Mashallah. She's done really well um, with all her teaching and lecturing. And she did theology and mm. um, her master's in Islamic studies. Um, and she's um, she's a qualified teacher. Okay, okay. But dad's always supported that. Mm. And we've grown up seeing our mom study and yeah, our dad yeah, support yeah, yeah. it. And that's how we get that same work ethic yeah, yeah. as well. The same like, inspiration as well. Yeah, yeah literally. Yeah. And that's why like, I look up to my dad so much because mm. he is literally like, men like that don't exist anymore. I mm. always say it. Like he supported my mom financially, emotionally, like every way. He was working three jobs mm. and he did it all. And that's like what, that's where we get our inspiration from mm. from our kids because my mom was working as well and yeah, studying yeah, yeah. and she had three of us four mm. of us sorry at the time and i just see my life just repeating my mom's yeah, yeah. literally okay, working okay, okay. studying yeah, yeah. young family growing up mm. and she she didn't stop studying until she's what now coming up to 60 okay, where yeah, she's yeah. just retired because yeah, she's not yeah. been well and stuff mm. but um yeah, I just see myself doing like the yeah, same yeah, thing as yeah, mom. Yeah, okay, okay. So then you went back to medicine, obviously. You studied, and then obviously kids come back. Nah. Yeah. No. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm missing the story. <laughs> Had my now. kids first. Yeah, the kids first. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. Oh, yeah, you went back to medicine straight after your kids. I got married, mm. and I was meant to. So we got married in May. Yeah. yeah. 2005. Yeah, yeah. And I was meant to go to uni okay. that October. Yeah. Yeah. But I fell pregnant in okay, September. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, so okay. then there was no yeah, way yeah. it was going to happen. Mm. So I deferred that year. Mm. I got pregnant again. Yeah, yeah. I deferred that year. Okay. I got pregnant again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I was just like, I give up. Yeah. <laughs> I really give okay, up. Okay. So then, yeah, medicine was off the cards. Um, I go into a lot more detail, obviously, with the book. Mm. Um, but medicine was off the cards because it was a case of a 60 hour week mm. with three young babies. I had three under three yeah, yeah. Isa, Ismail, and Usman. Mm -hmm. Uh, a newborn, a one-year-old and a two-year-old. And, um, and uh, yeah, we live near BCU. Mm -hmm. And um, Aleem said to me, he was like, why don't you look into nursing? It's the next best option. Yeah, you yeah. know, you're still a medical professional and mm. then you can just work your way up in that and like specialize. Mm. And I was just like, yeah, all right, let's do it. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like, uh, it was, I was never there at uni because mm. I was so busy with the kids. Yeah, yeah. And, I don't know how I got through that degree. Like mm. I was never even there, mm. but I just winged the whole degree and Alhamdulillah, I passed it. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, because obviously like, you know, there is a massive difference in doing medicine and nursing. Mm. A medical degree is a lot more intense. So if I was aiming at a medical degree, I probably would have found that more challenging. Mm -hmm. I found the nursing degree a piece of cake. Okay, Literally, yeah, yeah. It, was, yeah, yeah. it was a piece of cake. Do you think you do the same thing if you weren't for your mom or your dad? Like seeing that? Oh, that's a hard question. I don't yeah. know. Mm. I think, yeah, I would, mm. because it's just like, I think it's like just our nature. Obviously, it helped watching mom and dad, yeah, like, yeah. you know, really graft and work hard and to bring us up and everything. But yeah, I think it's just in our nature because uh, me, all, all, all our siblings mm -hmm. are really driven. I think we just have that drive okay. because it's not just in education. It's in like, you know, my dad's very business orientated. Mm -hmm. So we get that business acumen from dad. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think it's like my brother's really, really like good at business. And my mm. sister, they're much better than me. Mm -hmm. they're, they're like, they're on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm a bit more of a geek. But when it comes to the business side of things, yeah. I have to like, you know, get yeah, advice. You're more from creative them. than. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Strategic. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. They put all, when it comes to strategy, that's them. Mm. But I think that that runs in the blood. I think, I think, okay, yeah, yeah, I th yeah, I think yeah. it is kind of, yeah, just in us already. Yeah, comes yeah. from dad. Because I feel like it's 100% both your DNA and your actions. Mm. Yeah, because mm. obviously, like, how many successful people do you know that haven't got anyone? Yeah, they've got no one to thing. look up to, but then yeah, you find but other still, things they to still look do up so to. Yeah, well. yeah. And that's because it is, it's true, mm. it's in your DNA. Like, you know, when 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 you come from I, I know people whose um whose 
parents are really like well to do in business mm -hmm. but then when it comes to the kids yeah. they're not so they just didn't inherit that mm -hmm. gene yeah, yeah. or you know maybe they just Silver, yeah, yeah. Yeah, silver yeah. spoon fed okay. <laughs> I don't know yeah, what yeah, it is yeah, yeah, yeah. but see that's where we weren't like mm. you know dad made sure we worked for anything we wanted okay, like yeah, we had yeah. chores yeah. we had everything was regimented mm. my dad was in the army in Pakistan so it's kind of like okay, yeah. he's military very operation. very yeah, yes yeah. 100% yeah, yeah. everything's militant at home and my mom's very chilled out mm. so then now like you know with my kids I'm the same and mm. I want my kids to grow up to have that drive have that, that ambition that big goals yeah, yeah, yeah. And because it's like, okay, have big goals, mm. have drive, have, have ambition. You don't have to become a, you know, a bloody, you know, rocket scientist. Mm. But if you've got that drive and ambition, yeah. at least you'll get somewhere. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And it will have a good impact in anything you do in life, yeah, with drive yeah. and ambition. Not so, so how do you do it? It's all well and good doing it when obviously things are going well. But then like, so where was your big like uh, stumbling block? If you can tell us one where you couldn't get over or like or it was hard to get over that you had to overcome because there's always something stumbling block yeah or like a, or something that you thought like oh what challenging this, or yeah yeah like this is it like as in like i've done all these things successfully but then it come to this and i find it too hard or you know like when you have that thing uh, I, I just might give up or i might not carry on I swear you're going to think I'm lying, but mm. I, I just don't have that mindset. Okay, at all? Uh, no. Okay. If I'm going to put myself to do something, I'll mm. commit 100% mm -hmm. and I'll do it all the way mm. till the very end. I'll execute it. Mm. I'm that type of a person. Yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't know. Okay. You'll probably see it on my Instagram. It's yeah. a quote that I post regularly. Failure mm. is not an option okay. for me. That's what I, yeah, I yeah, literally yeah, yeah. live by that motto. Mm. So, okay, everyone has like, you know, certain hiccups and mistakes and where they'll learn along the way. But to fail on something, I suppose like sometimes it depends on the type of person. Like because with me, like, uh, like I say, I, I, if I'm going to do something, I'll check the risk and everything if if it's something that like if you said to me tomorrow i'll mm -hmm. open um open a business about um selling those globes okay. that's behind yeah, you yeah, that yeah, atlas yeah. globe i'll say no because okay. i know like i know that's something i can't do mm. so i'm not even going to go there yeah, yeah but if you said oh you know let's open a bookshop mm. Be like, yeah, I can do that. Okay, that okay, would be something yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I, I know, so you what know my, I, I yeah, play yeah. to my strengths yeah, only. Yeah. Okay. My weaknesses are probably like, um, I'm very naive. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as a lot of people say to me, as intelligent as you are, you're very naive. Mm. You're very um, gullible as well. You okay. like, you know, I wear my heart on my sleeve. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's my weakness. Mm. So um, it's it it's shown in like you know how uh, it's a you know a lot of. Um, uh, I won't go go into it too much, but mm. just you know yeah, how yeah. people can take advantage of like you know naiveness and mm -hmm. you know your niceness. You know you know the saying, "Don't take your niceness, your kindness for a weakness." Yeah, yeah. That's me all yeah, over. Okay. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm mm. very I play to my strengths. Mm -hmm. I'm all about like positivity. Just work to the best of your ability. The glass half full rather yeah, than yeah. the glass half empty. Okay, okay. There's no point crying over spilt milk. Mm. Life's too short. Yeah, yeah. You know you could really like push yourself and excel yourself by focusing on everything that you have mm -hmm. and everything that you have to look forward to yeah, rather yeah. than, oh, should have, could have, would have, I yeah, uh, should have yeah. done this or I uh, could have done it like this. You know, I don't like to live with regret. Mm. Even if I feel like I'm not sure if I'm making the right decision. If it's a decision I'm making, I'll stick by it all the way. I'm the type of person yeah. where if I want to do something, I'll do it. Okay, like, for example, the, yeah. the marathon. Mm -hmm. We just run a marathon in yeah, Marrakesh. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was going to go on to that. Ah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I wouldn't have got people to sponsor me. Like, I knew it's going to be a challenge. Yeah. But in my head, I knew I was going to complete it. Okay. Even though, like, along the way, like... Um, How long was the marathon for? It was... It took It took us three hours, just over three hours. Mm -hmm. It was a, a half marathon, which half was marathon. 20... Just under 21 kilometers. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Is it up a mountain or a flat ground? No, nah, flat ground. Flat ground, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was easy. Okay. Because, obviously, I didn't run all the way. Yeah, yeah. Like, I... With me, I can't run constantly because mm -hmm. I'm so bloody anemic. Um, okay. So yeah, Aleem's gone, darted off running. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. I knew that was going to happen. Mm. Um, so me and Aisha... Um, walked it and ran and walked it. Yeah, yeah, interval. Because that's yeah. what I normally do anyway mm -hmm. when I go on my runs. So like, I'll I'll just 
you know, fast walk and then run yeah, yeah. for about two minutes and then fast walk for mm-hmm. 30 seconds and run. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I was where, where only 40 minutes behind him. Okay. So yeah, yeah. That, you that know, bad. Yeah, yeah. that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He probably blew off and then just started walking yeah, yeah. after yeah. me. Yeah, he yeah. did say he needed a toilet break. Because okay, I was like, yeah, I'm yeah. sure you did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did that come about? Um, it was just like uh, with the charity work that um, I do, it's, mm-hmm. uh, it was a challenge that was brought up and, oh, okay. and everyone was like, oh, do you want to do it? Mm. I was like, yeah, I'd love to. Because yeah, yeah. like when I was younger, mm-hmm. um, I, I still am very tomboyish, but when I was younger, like, I used to do loads of these type of things, mm-hmm. like rock climbing, abseiling, parachuting, okay, okay. bungee yeah, jumping, yeah. all yeah, that yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just we did mountain climbing as well. Mm-hmm. So we did, um, well, hiking, yeah, uh, yeah. Snowdonia and Bed Nevis. Okay. So it's just like, yeah, I like yeah. a challenge. I like yeah, like yeah. an active challenge. Well, what was the um, the money going towards? Uh, the building Syrian houses. Syrian houses. Yeah, 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 yeah. So in Syria, so mm. uh, they've already started on the work. We raised fourteen thousand four hundred and seventy something. Mashallah, that's big. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. not. Yeah, it's a good amount. Um, so that's going straight into uh, rehabilitating and rebuilding um, Syrian houses mm-hmm. that have obviously been um, affected from the bombardment. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so how do you feed nice. all into a day? So how do you fit I wish the there were more hours work? in the yeah, day. <laughs> exactly. Charity work, the clinic, and then obviously um, the kids, yeah. family, everything. It's kind of like... I sleep three yeah. hours a day. Three hours a day? Yeah. Four, well, four you just hours. coffee then, yeah? Yeah, black yeah. coffee. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's spilling everywhere. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, four, four hours a day. Like, mm. if I have if I have five hours, wow, that's an amazing sleep. Yeah. 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 So Otherwise, do you have a burnout? Yeah. Well, we're going to do like therapeutic and all that now, but like, yeah. Burnout? Yeah, burnout. <sighs> so I didn't like where you just can't be all that. Like, I did have a burnout. Out. I did, yeah. Mm. I had a really bad burnout actually, um, just over about, just over a year ago. Okay. I, it was on my YouTube, like a lot of my followers um, on YouTube and Insta, they, st- I just went like AWOL. Okay. Because I was, I just started getting like anxiety attacks and panic attacks okay, out of okay. nowhere. Oh. And they were really bad. I was having like 10 a day. Mm. It was awful. It was draining. And when I was having an anxiety attack, because I'm like, that anxiety attack would lead to the panic attack. And then mm. the panic attack, because of obviously not breathing right, mm. my hands would spasm. Everything would spasm. My legs would spasm. It was really horrible. And I just felt like I was going to die. Mm. Literally, like, I just thought, that's it alhamdulillah now I'm, man- i'm managing them a lot better i do get i do get anxious mm-hmm. at time to time um certain triggers do like you know trigger it i suppose certain things do trigger it but yeah th- that was yeah. my burnout it was horrible mm. it was horrible that like, i wouldn't wish yeah. that on anybody honestly uh, like, how do you overcome it how do you, do you get back into if you can I found um, the way for me to overcome or like just help the anxiety attack mm-hmm. was to start writing. Okay. Again, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So like in my notepad, like I, a, a I've got uh, so uh, many escapism. notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of. It's kind of yeah, exactly. Because yeah. it's taking my mind off that. So I would just get my notepad mm-hmm. out and I would start um, on my phone and I would start writing notes saying that okay, my legs feel like jelly now yeah, yeah. and I'm getting tingling in my arms. Like, I'm acknowledging everything that I'm okay, feeling. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I would say, um, but I know this is going to pass. Mm. So, I like affirmations, getting the mindset of, you know, yeah, it's yeah. something that's not going to take over yeah, me. Yeah, it's just a phase. I, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. you know, it's going to come and it's mm-hmm. going to go. So, I just write everything down. By the time I finish writing my notes, mm-hmm. it's passed. Yeah, it's yeah. gone. Okay. Yeah. So, tell me about the acknowledgement thing. So, see with me, like, obviously, I've had burnout as well. Have you? Yeah, yeah. So, after the pizza shop, yeah, because I was, like, uh, I was managing my A-levels and then I was doing wow. the pizza shop at the same time. Wow. And I was managing it, so I was doing everything from, like, getting the food in. That's hard work. Going, um, uh, call, uh, well, sixth form. And yeah. then um, going to the shop, doing yeah. the shop, deliveries, whatever, wow. making pizzas, you know, like, different things. And then, obviously, sorting the staff out and all yeah, that as well. So, yeah, I was, like, 18, work. my first ever, like, massive job. So... Once I've done that and we've done it for a year and a bit and then coronavirus come. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then that's when it kind of like, and I was like, I was drained. Like, because, you know, like it was just too much. Mm. And I was thinking like, what's next? Because I'm a type of guy that's got ambition. So I need stuff going on all you the time. You need something to keep yeah, you ticking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Like You're new like ideas and yeah, like bigger good. things. So I burnt out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I burnt out for like six months. No, it was a long burnout because obviously yeah. it was everything stemming all at once and then boom, it just kind of That's about right though, yeah, you yeah. do, you need mm. like, you know. Uh, so how did you get out and then? Because for me, it was kind of like the same thing, but I never acknowledged nothing. Yeah. I just said like, oh, I gotta do better. 
You know, with me I though, be I wasn't acknowledging it for years. Mm. Like this burnout is yeah, yeah. like over over ten years because mm. I've been like constantly active. I've been constantly active ever since I was married. To be fair, okay, like yeah, yeah. you know, I had three kids back to back at mm. first, and then I did my degree and gone straight to work. I'm mm. working as a nurse in the hospital, managing the kids, yeah, yeah. and at the same time, I'm doing my makeup artist bookings because mm. I was a makeup artist. I was always juggling a lot, yeah, yeah. and then um, and then you know. And then getting pregnant again, having two more kids and starting businesses on the side and, you know, getting stuck into the charity work. And I think a lot of the charity work that we do, we're exposed to a lot of trauma mm -hmm. and that trauma can like affect you. And yeah, it's yeah. really important for anyone who does charity work, I always say, um, to have supervision as in some sort of counseling to mm -hmm. just help you like process what you're exposed yeah, to. Yeah. Um, because it can really, really affect your mental yeah, health. Yeah. Like we've had to sit and listen to, not had to, sorry, we've obviously wanted to, yeah, yeah. but you know, we've listened to the most horrific stories. Mm -hmm. We've witnessed the most horrific incidents yeah, yeah. and, you know, and for no support, but alongside that or choosing not to have that support, it's hard. And that's, mm. I think that's the great thing about like what we do in the charity work that we do now, we do have supervision alongside it. Okay. And, um, and it's all about making sure that we're okay as well, mm -hmm. because if we're not okay, we can't do our yeah, job. You, go, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's, it, it took a long time. Mm. Um, and I've been having counseling. Um, I haven't actually put this out there. Mm. <laughs> this is the first time I'm putting okay, this out yeah, there. Yeah. I've been having, um, CBT counseling for the last, um, I'd say the last uh, four months. Four months, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've been having CBT counseling for the last four or five months. And it's really helped. Because mm. I, I literally, uh, I was just too, you know, with me, I put a lot of pressure on myself as well. Mm. That Because if someone asks something of me, I just feel like, yeah, I need to do it. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, what's that? I don't know. Okay, yeah. I, yeah. I just feel like, I don't like to say no to people because yeah, yeah. I am I am a giver mm. like you know I'm that type of a person I like I just like to I like to make people happy mm. I like to I like to give I'm not I'm I'm not a taker I'm not mm. that type of person Alhamdulillah like you know Allah gives he's he, he you know everything yeah. we have he he gives like but when it comes to others I just yeah if someone asks I'm just like and when I give I give with all my all literally yeah, yeah. like I'll give 110 yeah, percent all in all that, like, yeah, yeah that's it exactly. Mm. And yeah, it's just, it, that's taken its toll as well. So just all of that over the time. And it's made me actually like prioritize CBT and the counseling has helped me, like um, it's helped me prioritize my workload yeah, yeah. and you know, my family life and mm -hmm. learning to say no, being okay. a bit more assertive and yeah, looking yeah. after myself mm -hmm. as a person rather than just like stretching myself in so many different yeah, yeah, yeah. angles. Stretch yourself too thin. I have, yeah, I've yeah. stretched myself way too thin and mm. it's like, you know, I, I saw how it impacted me. So I was mm. like, yeah, I'm not going down that road again. Yeah, yeah. I really don't want to. So inshallah, like, I'm yeah. just going to, I'm going to, I, I I say to everybody, regardless of burnout or not, have counseling, mm -hmm. even if it's just like once every six weeks, just to like be able to offload, mm -hmm. speak to somebody who's yeah, a professional, yeah. who's non-biased mm -hmm. to any, you know, no opinion yeah, yeah. and can help you, um, if not create a solution mm -hmm. to a problem, they can help you cope with it. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's all about coping strategies. So mm -hmm. psychology is my background as well. Yeah, yeah, okay. So this is why, like, I know what I needed to do, but it's so different when you're in the position yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now that when I'm there in front mm. of the, the, the psychologist and, you know, we speak and she's like, you know, everything that you need yeah, to do. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I know, but it's nice that I'm checking in with somebody because mm -hmm. then they're, they're making yeah, sure yeah, that I'm doing opinion. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like, it's like, it's like a fitness trainer. Mm. I always go back to Dora because I know what I need to do, yeah, but yeah. I want to go back to Dora because yeah. she will make sure I'm training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so if, if I'm just left to my, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. You bring the vibe Exactly, up and all that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And mm. it's just having that, you know, that bit of accountability where yeah, you, yeah. you know that, okay, I've got to check him and that person. Mm. And, and they, 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 with me, accountability is like everything. Mm -hmm. So if, if someone says to me, if someone sets me a task, I want to make sure I complete it. Yeah, yeah. So I, I see it more as a, 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 a task. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, okay, I need to see the psychologist in a couple yeah, of weeks. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. got this, this and this to do. Mm. It's like homework, I get yeah, excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where did the idea come about or that thing? So, you know, when you're having the panic attack or anxiety or like things were happening. It just so, came. So, okay. It literally yeah, just yeah. came. I didn't know what to do. Mm. I w you, actually, the first time that happened, uh, it, I was in 
I was in a meeting at Salam actually. It was okay. our head office in London, mm-hmm. and all of us, like twenty odd of us, are sitting around this big conference table. Yeah, yeah. And it just came out of nowhere, and I was like, "Oh my God, I don't want to embarrass myself." Like yeah, you know, yeah. some of the people, only a few people knew what I was going through. Yeah. And I was like, you know, what the hell? If I start having a full on panic attack, I don't know what to do. Mm. So I just put my head down, picked up my phone, yeah. and I was like, "Oh my God!" I started typing like, "Oh my God, okay, what do yeah. I do?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I was like, "This is how I'm feeling," and did it, and it started like that. And mm. before I knew it, it passed, and I thought. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. So then I just carried it on. It yeah, worked. Yeah, it yeah, carri- yeah. yeah, I carried it on. Mm. I was like taking deep breaths and I was reading, like doing vicar mm-hmm. and just writing. And it, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's what helped. And mm. I just. So why still carry on? So you still got a lot of things on your plate. So, like, yeah. it, uh, isn't it easier to just kind of like just say, like, I'm going to do this or leave it? I just focus on my kids, focus on my work, and that's it. Instead of doing like. A work and then things. yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. i think that's in my nature i'm mm. never going to stop doing a million things okay okay yeah like yeah. if i was just to if i oh god the thought of that is just yeah, depressing yeah. me right now <laughs> like what well, do nothing yeah, yeah, if okay, yeah. I, i'd go crazy mm. i would literally go crazy i'm a, I'm a ticker i like mm. to just tick over constantly yeah, yeah. and obviously like you know i have learned to you know prioritize and switch yeah, off yeah. at yeah, times yeah. i can't i can't just like I can't just do my few days a week at clinic and yeah, yeah. like because you know the kids are like mashallah they're really independent they do yeah, their own thing yeah, yeah so it's like how much am I going to do for them mm. really it's like how many times am I, cle- am I going to clean up like mm. to that I'll, st- I'll start developing an OCD of cleaning up then <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah. I am very obsessive yeah, like yeah. if there's a bit this is the problem now mm. now that because like I am I've always like been looking after the home and everything mm. but I think I'm just more I don't know. I'm obsessing more over cleanliness. If there's okay. a bit on the floor, yeah, I can't yeah. sit on the sofa yeah, yeah. until I've gone and picked up that bloody bit or okay. got the Hoover out again yeah, and yeah. vacuumed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really bad. Mm. So yeah, that's why I just think if I um, if I divert my attention to mm-hmm. work, then I kind of I'm just I'm but stretching myself, but yeah, not yeah. too far. Yeah, yeah. Like I know I know when I need to switch yeah, you off. You know your limits now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, well, yeah. I'm working on it, but I'm yeah, getting there. You're getting closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting there. Talking about the clinic. The clinic is. What is it? What do you do then? We do a bit of everything at Mm -hmm. the clinic, so it's your medical side, um, which is all like your um, sports injuries, rehabilitation, Mm -hmm. Um, we do medical diagnostics, um, and um, then you've got the, uh, we do a lot of like aesthetic work, so Mm -hmm. in terms of like injectable skin peels, you know, working with dermatology skin, Um, so yeah, like a bit of everything really, Mm -hmm. we do like colonic hydrotherapies, Mm -hmm. Um, which when people have like IBS, like problems okay, with the yeah, bowel yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah. like that is a super, super mm. busy um, uh, treatment. So, so how yeah, did that start? everything. Um, how did you get involved? Like, what's the, I, what's the story? I basically, um, when I decided I'm going to leave the NHS because mm-hmm. I was just so sick of the long hours, yeah, yeah. Um, even though like, no, I didn't like that job actually. <laughs> 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 when yeah. I was in the QE, I yeah. liked that job. Yeah, yeah. But then I moved from the QE into public health and became a school nurse because okay. it was like nine till three. Yeah, it's yeah. like teachers' hours. Yeah, yeah. It fit Plus well with, yeah, the yeah, with the kids. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I got all the holidays off, but mm. I hated the job. Okay. I was just what? like a glorified social worker. Yeah, yeah. I was like, this is n- there's nothing clinical in this job at mm. all. I really hated the job, mm. and um, you know. There was not much work to work hands on with the kids yeah, to do yeah. any clinical work. And plus, you're stuck in kind of like one room. An office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I had a feeling. Yeah. And even that was quite um, a difficult job as well mm. because it was all to do with child protection and safeguarding. So mm-hmm. there was a lot of kids that were going through abuse. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, we had to okay. sit in meetings and, mm. you know, um, get exposed to that. So, in terms of exposure, it's, there's been a lot of like abuse exposure that I've mm. been, um, been around. But then that's when it got to that point where I was like, I've had enough of this job. Like, this yeah. job is draining me. Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel so de-skilled working mm. here. And that's when I made the decision, I'm going to just go um, and do... Uh, it was actually Aleem that told me about okay. aesthetics. Yeah, yeah. Because his friend was a gas engineer. Mm-hmm. And uh, his wife, his friend's wife was a nurse. And mm-hmm. she was doing it. And he was like, so, like, why haven't you ever thought about this? I was like, no, why am I going to do that for? Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. no. And then I was like, what, really? He planted mm. the seed. Mm. He actually did plant the seed. Okay, and then okay. I actually thought about it. And then I did my little strategy calculation. Yeah, with, yeah. Okay, <laughs> this could work. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, yeah, I just took the plunge, handed mm. in my notice. 
and um, got stuck in yeah, yeah. and wanted to set again. up my own clinic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I knew it's something that, because obviously like with aesthetics, it's mm-hmm. all about, you know, obviously like um, the injectable side is about working with the face. Yeah, yeah. And I've been a makeup artist for so long. Mm-hmm. I know how to work with people's faces. Okay. Like I used to do it with makeup. Yeah, yeah. So, and I know I'm a good injector because yeah. like with the clinical side of work, I've always been like, all my patients just, they 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 always used to say we want her to come and do okay, yeah, 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 yeah. she doesn't hurt us yeah, yeah. so i was like okay that's fine mm. so I, I just i was confident i yeah, knew yeah. i knew i'd be okay yeah, in this field. i knew i had it yeah 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 100 yeah, yeah, yeah. mm. and i would and like you know plus you understand the, the target market though yeah, yeah exactly yeah. like you know exa- exactly because mm. i was i was in that market anyway when it comes to like beautifying and you know yeah, with all the yeah, makeup yeah, yeah. artist stuff so i was just like yeah took the plunge and mm. did it and uh, a friend introduced me to my business partner at the clinic mm-hmm. and um, he he wanted me to like work for him I was mm-hmm. like no okay. <laughs> I'm not working yeah. I'm leaving the NHS because I don't want to work for anyone okay, yeah, I yeah. just want to work for myself yeah, yeah. and then um, yeah because I'm that type of a person I know mm-hmm. what I want I just said it straight to him I was like okay. if you want me to push your clinic because yeah, he's yeah. seen I had a like a platform and he mm-hmm. was like he could see how driven I was yeah, yeah. he was like oh you know you could do this you could do that I was mm. like yeah I'll do it if you give me a share of the okay, clinic okay, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing yeah, it yeah, for yeah, nothing yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and he was like yep mm. that's it done was that automatic yeah because like, a lot of people like they don't understand the ownership thing yeah like you know when you say you're selfless and you help people and all that yeah but clearly the strategy behind it yeah 100 percent. so how did that how did that come about like because for me i was always going to open my own clinic yeah, yeah. so that was more edge fast in my ends mm. and then with him obviously the clinic was all the way in yardley wood mm. and i was like oh, i don't want to open a clinic over here yeah, yeah but he's you know he's very savvy he mm. knows business very well and yeah, yeah. he's very good at marketing as well so he obviously did all his research yeah, yeah. on me okay. so he yeah. knew a lot about me i didn't know anything about him yeah, yeah. so soon as i put the proposal down and i said to him i was like look if you want me to push this clinic mm-hmm. you need to make me a part of it because mm. at the end of the day i don't want to work for somebody else i want to work for myself mm-hmm. or we can be equal partners yeah, yeah and he just straight away he said yeah i'm gonna call a meeting and okay let's let's sit down and have a chat yeah, yeah. and i just said i'm a very transparent person in mm. like if anyone's worked with me in business they know what i'm like yeah, yeah. um very clear cut and i said look this is what I've got. This is what I can bring to the table. And this is where I can take it. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. And it's as simple as that. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. And why the rest is, is history. Uh, obviously, it's a dumb question. I know the answer. But why is uh, transparency important? Because a lot of people transparency, are not transparent. Transparency. Yeah. Oh, it's so important why? in business. If Well, if you're in business with somebody. Yeah, yeah. For honesty, for mm. mis... You know, otherwise, if you're not transparent about certain things, this is how... Uh, misunderstandings can mm-hmm. happen yeah, and yeah. issues can arise in mm. the business partners mm. split off and yeah, they get yeah. disgruntled yeah, yeah. and transparency is the most especially when it comes to finances mm-hmm. and it comes to where you stand in the business yeah, yeah. transparency is key mm. like have transparency have good communication and have integrity mm-hmm. and inshallah like you'll do well yeah, and yeah. alhamdulillah don't want to put yeah, nazar yeah. on our <laughs> <laughs> business relationship no, 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 we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're doing good mm-hmm. he's like family Okay. We're like family, literally. Yeah, 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 yeah. alhamdulillah. So yeah, yeah. that's very well, so important. What's next? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 what's next? Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't say. Well, what, what's right now? Oh, you can't say. I can't oh, say. So what's right now? There are a couple of things yeah, that yeah. are next. I think right now there's a lot of hype around the book. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going with it. Like okay. it's been picked up. Um, by a few newspaper articles, mm. BBC, yeah, and yeah. I was I was just really overwhelmed. I thought, yeah, yeah. God. Are yeah, people really that interested? Time, I, yeah, know, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, and because yeah. Um, uh, yeah, Candyman um, from BBC, he's um, he was following me for quite a while, and mm. I, I, I was also following him. Yeah, yeah. And then um, he just was like, "I want I'm I'm in Birmingham. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm recording, and I want you in at the studio. You know, please say you can come." I was like, "Yeah, you're around the corner from yeah, me." Yeah. So yeah, just and it was just. I just I am really overwhelmed mm. by the whole response to Married at 18. I think it's. Um, it's nice to know that people are inspired or interested mm-hmm. even in our journey. And I just, you know what, if it can just help mm-hmm. one youngster out there yeah, who yeah. is looking to get married mm-hmm. or in a relationship and trying to get married, yeah, yeah. if it can just help one person, mm-hmm. that's like, you know, uh, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. That's how I see it. Mm. Because, you know, a lot of young kids are getting married and it's just, you know, I just feel like guidance support and everything mm-hmm. sometimes isn't always there yeah, if it's yeah. there it's great 
And if it's not, then it's just somewhere they can just turn to and, you know, message me as well. Like, you yeah. know, if I see your message, I will reply. I'm that type of a person. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know, yeah. just DM me if you're struggling or if you need any support. Yeah, well, watch this person and see what's next in it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for coming Inshallah. on the podcast.